Iraq War, 19 years on. In 2003 the US falsely alleged that Saddam Hussein possessed weapons of mass destruction. Thus paving the way for an Iraq invasion. Starting with the shock and awe campaign. Targeting communication, transportation, food production, water supply, and other aspects of infrastructure. To spread the threat and fear of action. And achieve a level of shock comparable to Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings. Shock and awe caused the death of over 3,900 Iraqi civilians. Just in one month. The total number of civilian deaths during the invasion is more than 7,000. Mainstream media praised might of U.S. weapons. Awestruck. A surprise attack. The smoke rose above Baghdad in plumes of thick, black soot, carrying with it the ashes of a dying regime. U.S. launches cruise missiles at Saddam. Tanks roll in desert as airstrikes hit cities. Let's listen a little bit to the sound of gunfire, anti-aircraft fire over the skies in Baghdad. The Pentagon says the massive air campaign of 2,000 sorties beginning more than 24 hours ago was an historic first. It was the first time every single bomb in an aerial assault was guided by precision technology. Over 180,000 Iraqis became victims of the war that followed invasion. In the U.S. businesses did their best to earn on the grief of the Iraqis. Sending trademark applications for the use of shock and awe term. In 2003 there was at least 29 of them. Among them, five applications from fireworks manufacturers. No limits for PR you know.